Here's how to program your mind to make six figures a year as a coach or consultant or freelancer using social media. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can program your mind in order to grow a sustainable business as a freelancer or coach. And these tips have helped me go from working full-time at a content agency to earning half a year's salary in a month running my own consulting business online. Helping coaches and freelancers sell four-figure solutions using organic content on Instagram and LinkedIn. And I realized pretty early on, the key to success doesn't come from the external. It comes from the internal, inside. Now, the reason you are where you are right now, good or bad, is due to your internal dialogue. How you think will determine your success. And a lot of people's thought patterns actually stop them from making money. They prevent them from making more money. So in order to achieve anything, you need to fix your mindset. You need to program your mind. Phrases and thoughts like, I can't do, or I'm not good enough, or I'll never, have a really negative impact. And these things compound over time. So be conscious of how you talk to yourself. Let's break down the top three limiting beliefs that stop business owners achieving their potential. Number three, stop telling yourself you're not valuable. Everyone has value to add. The plumber, the failed car salesman, the teacher. You already have skills, you already have knowledge. You already have information that you can pass down to people. There are people who are a few steps behind you in your journey that would love to have your level of expertise. Just that one step is so valuable to them. But a lot of people walk around with this apprehension of moving ahead, jumping in and taking a risk. And a lot of this stems from comparison. You know, we see these other people online who are killing it, and they are, but that's because they chose to show up. They chose action, even with doubts, even with negative self-talk, they took the first step. And the funny thing is, you can level up too, simply by doing, simply by putting the reps in. And if you can show up as a teacher, you'll actually learn a lot more too. Teaching or trying to teach something forces you to break things down into so much detail that you actually learn more about the subject you begin to understand it from a different point of view. Before I started my Instagram last year, I was telling myself that I wasn't valuable. And because I told myself that, I began to believe it. Therefore, it stopped me taking action. And I genuinely, I didn't believe I had value to offer. Why? Because I overlooked the things that I was good at. I overlooked the things I was doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Because I could do it with my eyes shut, I assumed that other people could do it as well. But that's not the case. It's the things that you take for granted, the things that you can do unconsciously that other people are eager to learn. So I took action and now I'm at 50,000 followers almost on Instagram, helping people all over the world do exactly the same thing, make money online. You have value, honestly, but the world won't validate it until you show them something first. Number two, stop telling yourself that you can't put together an offer. Putting something together that people want to buy isn't as tough as it sounds. It's simply a question of research. Getting out there and speaking to your target market. Unearthing audience pain and desires. What's keeping people up at night? What do they want to achieve desperately? What is it you desire? Once you have an accurate picture of that goal, list out every single step it would take for someone to achieve it with you. Then list out what tools, resources and support would be useful as an accompaniment and stack them all together guides, tutorials, a group, a course, direct communication. Then you just need to attach a price tag to it, but base it on the value of the outcome, not the time that you have to put in. If you get this bit right, you'll be a lot easier to buy from and it will also boost your confidence too. And the main one, stop telling yourself that you can't sell. You're probably only telling yourself this because you're afraid to fail. You're afraid of rejection and I get it, but rejection is a pre-universal experience being turned down for a date, being declined for a promotion, not being invited out with friends. Everyone's been rejected at some point and it's not nice. It doesn't make you feel good. But the fear of rejection, the actual fear of it, is simply you preempting the fact that you'll fail. You don't know for sure, you just think it, you're guessing. You have no idea whether you'll fail or not until you try. This again, ultimately comes down to action. Rejection is inevitable. No one has a 100% success rate, but the more action you take, the more you reduce the failure rate too. So there's the three limiting beliefs stopping you from leveling up online. Now, if you wanna level up even further, you can check this video out here and I'll show you.